Today we'll be looking at a mental math strategy for division that involves using friendly numbers. So we're going to look at the problem 71 divided by 6. 71 divided by 6. So in this problem, 71 is our dividend and 6 is our divisor. We're going to start by looking at 71 and find two numbers that are friendly to work with that add up to 71. We want to make sure at least one of those numbers is a multiple of 6 and we want to get as close to 71 as we can. So if I was picking numbers I would pick 66 plus 5 equals 71. Now that I have those two numbers I can divide each of those using the divisor of 6 and get um, make it easier for, me, for myself to do it um, mentally. So 66 divided by 6 is 11 and 5, um, 5 can't be divided by 6 equally so we have 5 left over so there would be 0 with the remainder of 5 and if we put those two together, we would end up with 11 remainder 5. So our quotient for 71 divided by 6 is 11 remainder 5. This strategy works for, will get this, give you the same answer no matter what numbers you pick. So let's, let's say that a student thought that 60 was the the friendlier number to work with in 66 so in this case it would be 60 plus 11 equals 71 and we could divide 60 divided by 6 is 10 there's there's 10 groups of 6 and 60 11 divided by 6 gives you one group of 6 and then 5 left over if you put uh, added 10 and 1 remainder 5 together, you still end up with 11 remainder 5. A similar problem that you could do would be 91 divided by 8. So 91 is our dividend divided by the divisor of 8. Again, we're looking for friendly numbers. It can be any numbers that are easier for you to work with. And for this case, I'm going to start with 88. The closer you can get to the, the dividend, uh, the, the better. But any numbers that, that you figure out will work, as I showed in the previous problem. So 88 plus 3 is 91. And we can divide 88 divided by 8 is 11. 3 divided by 8 can't be done evenly. There's zero groups of 8 and 3. So we have zero groups. And then there's 3 left over. So 11 plus 0 remainder 3 is 11 remainder 3. So for 91 divided by 8, the quotient is 11 remainder 3, the answer. Again, you can pick a different number. Let's go with 80. Say the student thought 80 was a friendlier number, the easier number to work with. So 80 plus 11 equals 91. 80 divided by 8 gives you 10 groups of 8. 11 divided by 8 gives 1 group of 8. And then there's 3 left over. 10 plus 1 remainder 3 is 11 remainder 3. If possible, it is great to have numbers that are um, divided by the number where both numbers are divisible um, by the number. And it doesn't always work out that way. But let's go with the number 42 divided by 3. Forty-two divided by three. Some students will be able to do this problem 
in their head without using a strategy. For those that need the strategy, two numbers that, that I would pick would be 30 plus 12. 30 plus 12 is 42. And then we can go and divide. 30 divided by 3 gives you 10 groups of 3. 12 divided by 3 gives you 4 groups of 3. Both 30 and 12 are divisible by 3. Um, and it gives you a, a whole number for an answer. Then we can add those together. 10 and 4 is 14. So our quotient is 14. You can use um, any number and it will get you to where you, you need to be. And for last one, 96 divided by 8. 96 divided by 8. The friendly numbers that I would pick for this one, I would pick 80 and 16. You could do 88 as well. That is closer to 96. Um, but most students are going to pick 80 plus 16. Then we can divide. 80 divided by 8 gives you 10 groups of 8. 16 divided by 8 gives you 2 groups of 8. 10 plus 2 is 12. So the answer, the quotient to 96 divided by 8 is 12. If you have any questions, make sure that you let Mr. Brandt know, and we'll talk to you later.